I wanted to review with you the stages of lung cancer. The stage of lung cancer directly impacts the chance of it being cured. So understanding the stages is important to understand various treatments as well as the prognosis of the cancer. Stage one lung cancer is identified or defined as a cancer in a segment of the lung here in the right upper lobe that is restricted to that area. There are a variety of different tests that are used to determine whether a cancer is spread throughout the body. Some of these include biopsies, some of them include x-rays, some of them include unusual scans, one of which is called a PET, P-E-T, scan. All of those tests are used to determine whether a single spot in the lung is spread anywhere else. Now, if it is demonstrated that a single spot in the lung is a solitary finding without any evidence of spread of cancer anywhere else, we call that cancer stage one. That is stage one cancer. And the most common treatment for stage one cancer right now is to remove that segment of lung. So we take this segment out, and by and large, we can cure 80 to 85% of lung cancers that are stage one. Now, the next stage of cancer, stage two, presents as a spot in the lung, but there is evidence that the cancer is involving local lymph nodes within the same segment of lung. So you have cancer here with spread, local spread, down here to these lymph nodes that line the lower windpipes. This would be called stage two. And this often is treated still by an operation removing that segment of lung as well as these lymph nodes. But most patients who have stage two will also be candidates for chemotherapy.